Hello everyone, it's the 17th of May today, it's a Sunday. It's a bit later than I would have liked to have an update, but these two pages have taken an age. Um, I've got it laid out, this is eternal promise. <laughs> Should be a shit by now if you've watched these for any length of time. Um, <laughs> eternal promise, and I've laid it out on the floor of my craft room. Um, so we've got the odd stray ray of light coming through <laughs> the blinds a bit. And it's kind of highlighting one of the areas where the sun's catching the forest floor in the picture, which is quite nice. Um, so this one seemed to drag. I don't think I was getting any less stitching done than normal, although it really did feel like it. Um, just, just so much dragged for the first first couple of weeks of this month. Um, I'm still working from home. We we had a these big online meetings <laughs> of this video conferencing, and. Um, and it looks like that we're not going to be back in the office till about September. So I'm not going to rush this. I'm just going to carry on doing two pages at each at the start of each month and, until it's finished. Or until I get to the partial pages at the end. And then I'll get it finished. I don't think I'm going to go and go headlong into it. Part of me wants to, another part of me doesn't. Often when you finish big pieces like this, I get a bit of a slump in my stitching um, immediately afterwards. It's just coming to the end of a big project where you spent so much time on and there's so many memories. I mean, this whole whole end of this is going to be, oh, do you remember that year when we, when we couldn't go out and people were really ill? Yeah, oh, the whole bottom row of this is going to represent that time. Uh, that's what I've got left to stitch. So I'm not going to rush this. I'm going to avoid that slump in my stitching. I am trying to work out plans for when we get back. I'm sorry if you can hear the cat. He's downstairs. He's shouting because we're not in... Um, myself and my husband are in different rooms. and That's against the law, apparently. According to the cat. Um, so... Yeah, like I said, I'm not going to rush to finish this. It's going to take my time, slow and steady, and build up to how the to how I'm going to work the rotation after this. I'm not going to fo have one focus until things get closer to a finish, maybe. I've been focusing on this one for about two or three years. <laughs> no, this is the third year I've focused on it, so it's about time. So. And this beam of light gets stronger. <laughs> there we go. That's where we're at to. So far, so. There they are, looking up pretty in their woodland in the Rivendell. Uh, slow pan through. It's pretty. It looks amazing when it's rolled out like this. And that is all I've got left to do. You see that border bit on the far right hand side? The last two pages is mostly that. There's a little bit of the side goes into it, but not much. So, um, there's three of the full pages left. So that'd be... Where are we now? We're, oh, we're in May. So that should be June, July and August. So hopefully... I'll have this finished before I have to go back to the office. I really enjoy working from home. This is perfect for me. A lot of people that I work with at the end of chat things and, and video conferencing so I can get all my work done. In fact, I seem to be doing more work. Um, dealing with more stuff. And I get it done in just as much time. Actually, I might be waiting, working a bit longer hours. Because you're getting up and down more. The cats. 
am a bit unsure as to how he feels. I think he would rather us go away so he can have a sleep. At least once a week he will disappear up under the bed. He'll sleep under the bed for most of the day before getting back up. Most of the time he's managing us. So if we dare move from the table where the computers are, we get told off. So um, he's quite a tough manager. So this one, get back to the sewing. Um, more forest floor. It's pretty much forest floor all the way across. I think this big tree trunk comes down, tree roots, um, for the last couple of pages. But the next page, definitely more of this flower and light on the forest floor type stuff. Which is a fair bit of confetti. It's not too bad. It'd be quicker if it wasn't a paper pattern. But uh, there we are. So, uh, what to show you next? I'm just going to pause you quickly. I'll be back in, sh in two shakes. And I'm back. Uh, this is what I've been doing recently. I have finished off some pillows. Uh, it's the Sampler House series from Little House Needleworks got that one right. Um, so I finished the series off earlier this year and then it was just about getting myself in gear to get them finished because finishing uh, means getting the machine out which isn't a problem it's just hassle. So here we go that's three of them Oops, and carefully maneuver uh, the rest of them. So, let's see, little pillow, squishy little pillow, backing, um, so yeah I stitched the borders on and that really helped when it came to doing the finishing because um, like that one. Uh, it really helps with finishing because you have a line to follow with the, with the press effort. So, it wasn't too bad in the end. The stuffing I've got is absolutely awful. I need to get some new new stuff in. Had it for quite a while. It's just it was a, a brand for toys, but just so many lumps in it. Uh, and it's it's just a bit too springy for me. Uh, so just got them in this little box for now. I have to work out something. I kind of like this, this one here. Uh, so that's that. Uh, so I'm um, doing the For the Birds series from Blackbird Designs. Uh, I'm going to do them all as individual pictures. They're 5x5 five five and fabric issues. So um, I usually leave a 3 inch border on everything. Uh, for framing, I do my own framing and I know I can get away with two inches. So I've got some fabrics, I've also got Wren as well because it's stitched on. Uh, there's three on Oakham, three on Ale and three on Wren from Picture This Plus. So, um, let's have a quick look at one of the patterns. That one's stitched on ale. Uh, so I've been through, I've got all the colours, got my fabrics, so I need to cut those up um, into 9x9 nine nine pieces rather than 11 11 11 And and then find work out when I'm gonna start those. I'm just finishing off a few other bits at the moment. And I've got several project bags with other projects lined up. So, I have those to do. And, <laughs> come back. <laughs> You're all in this, this is, this is all in the same room, but it's in different parts of the same room. It's not very big, but <laughs> yet you dizzy keep walking around. So, here we are, death by cross stitch. And I have finished page 12. So that's another row of pages finished. Uh, it's not all in shot, there's like a bit up there. So yeah. 
now that I've uh, finished off this thing tree lantern thingy lots and lots of curly cute back stitches little owl, little figment and fishy still think they look like clangers um so uh I'm going on to the the last row of the pattern now it's four more pages when I have it finished this year down here um look there's a block here and then there's a block underneath it's got the date in it and it's on the penultimate page and <laughs> I know I should finish it this year but I don't really <laughs> I'm really worried about jinxing it, thinking that if I put 2020 in, <laughs> something's going to happen that I'm not going to be able to finish it till next year. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. I might leave that bit of the block blank and just do it as the last thing. We'll see. We'll see how close to the end of 2020 I am by the time I get there. Um, I'm I, well. I hardly worked on it at all last year because of all the building work. So now everything's sorted out. My craft room is almost there. I'm waiting for the window to be replaced still, but obviously no one can get on with their work to do to make my window and then come to put it in. So, but we put the blinds up, so that hides the whole vlog window. Um, and also gives me a bit of um, I I couldn't sit the way I was set up to work in here because it's just the light is so bright in here so it really really needed the blinds up and um, otherwise I can't watch floss tube on the TV while I stitch <laughs> that's so bad um <laughs> uh, that's it for me for now um I missed uh, a day working on Mooka I did get a little bit done on her last night so I'm going to do some death by cross stitch this morning um, and then I'm going to work, I think we're playing some board games this afternoon and then I'm going to work on Mooka and then tomorrow I switch to trick or treat and I'm thinking about working across in sections rather than going by pages the same as I'm doing for stitching time I kind of want to break out of doing a page at a time and work down more systematically. Um, I can do that with Pattern Keeper um, because it puts everything together and I may even just turn off the page line markers on on Pattern Keeper to see how I get on. Um, at the moment what I do is if I, when I finish a page I put a pound in a piggy bank so I'm not going to be doing that so it's like how how what's the best way to work around that if I turn off the page lines I'm not going to know when I finished up finished a page even when I do get down that far um so there's a few things I was thinking of trying. I was going to um, divide a total stitch count by the number of pages, which will be a more even number of stitches for each page rather than have full page and partial page. And then I do my reward once I hit that, that target. But uh, at the moment, I kind of want to stop counting in pages because I want to stop um, my brain just tries to work out when I'm going to get it finished and I don't want to do that, I want to be enjoying the stitching more it's weird, my head's weird so I think I'm going to try that um, I kind of beat myself up a bit if I think I'm not getting the page done quick enough and that's not what the stitching is about so I need to find other ways to do things to break them break bad habits but <laughs> then uh, with death by cross stitch I can only get um, probably half three quarters of a page in on the stitching area on this frame which is fine 
but I don't know whether to work the four pages across at that level. I think I might do. And then go down to the lower one. I think I might do that. I think you can actually put Death by Cross Stitch onto Pattern Keeper. It doesn't show up all the back stitching, which is it's a bit of a drag, but it might help me. Well, it'll definitely help me with putting things together if I'm going to work across the whole page, all the pages. And then I just keep referring to the paper patterns for the back stitchy bits. So, yeah, I might do that. <laughs> My made up. So, yeah, anyway, back to that. Um, trick or treat next. So, when I come back, I will have progress to show you on trick or treat. And... My morning stitching is going really well. I'm working on um, Summer School House Lesson 4. There's actually a few bits and pieces in that one. So it's the pillow. So I may have more pillows to make soon. So I'm, I'm getting, getting good progress on that. So hopefully that will be finished this month as well. But I don't know if it'll be when I film Trick or Treat update. Or the end of the month when I do stitching time. I oh, need to do a Mooka update as well. I'm getting on to her hair tonight, which is it's a nice point to reach. But anyway, <laughs> I'll see you for now. Bye bye. Oh, it's the 25th of May now, and I'm about to switch projects on rotation. So I'm going to show you my updates. But first, I thought I'd show you a finish that I've had this week. Um, this is my morning was did used to be half an hour cross stitch but now seeing as my commute to work involves just stepping out of one room into another it's my hour in the morning cross stitch about an hour roughly just less more than I had before so this is the summer school house sampler series this is lesson number four so it's the last of the pillows all done and it stitched one over one on 28 count mushroom lugana and so tiny stitches uh, a satin stitch band there for the grass and then it everything called for colours fabric stitching one over one so it makes see that tiny little pillows so um that's like the pillow part of the series finished so I then getting a dab hand at making those I should probably whip up some more pillows there's a sampler that goes on a horn book but it's just a little thing and I'm thinking of making it actually as a needle book instead and there's also a uh, a little strawberry pattern as well so um so I'm not putting the whole thing away yet but I'll, there's no rush to get to those I'll just stitch them as and when so instead of that now I've got a new thing to start and it's the needle dance needles dance it was a natural exclusive in 2019 and a nice little sampler I'm stitching it, it was a kit so I'm stitching it on the blue moon linen it's actually very dark blue and all the cool four colours as well so so that will be my next start this is 32 count fabric so I think I have to use two strands can't see anywhere in the instructions where it says but we'll figure it out pretty and it's got uh, little rabbits in there so make a nice change do something else in the morning and this is what I've been working on for this week it is Trick or Treat by Randolph Spangler Charted by Heaven and Earth designs and I'm stitching this on 28 count easy count fabric from Zweigart so it's kind of it's a Lugana it's quite a stretchy one 
I do like the 25 count, it's a bit denser. So what I did was I filled in this guy, it's a little back there. And then rather than doing pages, what I talked about was going across, which I've done. I've gone all the way across once and down, finishing off some knees, and I'm just going across again for a second time. So it doesn't, I don't feel like I've got a lot done, but I have done nearly 4,000 stitches, not quite, about 3,600. Um, so that was, I was okay for a week. I didn't beat myself up about it. These leaves are looking fatty. And also, a new little needle minder here. I love him. A little turtle. It's one of these polymer clay ones. A little turtle with a ladybird, ladybird on his back. And he is from um, an Etsy shop called Agnes Little Minders. And she's based in the UK. So I didn't have to wait too long for shipping. Shipping overseas is taking ages at the moment. But he is so cute. And yeah, keeps my sewing company. Oops, there we go. A bit more close up. Uh, so that's it for now. Um, it's, it's the last week of the month already. So I'm going to swap now and get uh, a stitch in time back out. I decided I was going to do that. There was the possibility of swapping to something else, but no, I'm going to stick with that. So I'll see you with an update for that at the end of the month, which will be my last update clip. See you soon. Bye bye. Hello again. It's Sunday the 31st of May. Here we are, nearly at the sixth month of the year already. Time has flown. I'm completely losing track of time at the moment. All the days are merging into one. Just when I wake up in the morning, trying to remember whether today I'm meant to be working or stitching. Today is stitching day. So, uh, this is Death by Cross Stitch, and I think I've worked on it every weekend. Uh, there's also been a couple of bank holidays this month, so I've managed to spend a couple of extra mornings on it. So, this is page... 13 and uh, we're on the last row of pages now so hopefully I'll be able to get page um, page finished be able to get the whole thing finished this year that's what I'd like to do but I'm not going to push anything too much I'm at the point now where um, I need to, to scroll it on the frame so in June I'll be hoping to get this page finished I was thinking about working across, but this bit is fun, but I don't want to do it again so soon. So I'm going to finish off the page. And also, I, I, I really struggle across page breaks. I don't know what it is about. <laughs> uh, my brain doesn't like the maths. So, little bunny. And funky feather duster bird and there's another bird down here there's a couple of little squares so I'll still be able to get to those when I scroll it so yeah I'm going to start June by scrolling it up and getting the page finished and then if there's time I'll move over onto page 14 but I should be able to do that I hope you never know what, what's going to change at the weekends, whether, you know, suddenly there'll be loads of stuff to do. Um, but at the moment it's not, because we're, we're still not going out at all. So, there we go. There's lots of little fiddly backstitch bits in this one as well. Um, but it's looking nice. I have fun doing these bits, because you just kind of work your way around it. <laughs> And you don't need to, to cut your thread. It, the the path to follow is just uh, da -da -da. it's one of those things you can draw without lifting your pencil off the paper. So I like those. I like 
the motifs where there's an easy route to travel. I kind of worked out a route with these, working them in three sections. Just so you don't have to stop and start your thread all the time, just to keep it neat on the back. So these bits down here are just little markers for where the diagonals are. As I was counting the stitches along this one, I just put the little stitch down where the, where the edge stitches are. Um, so this this is in the kind of shaded overlap area. So um, I reached a point where it wasn't really joined it with what I was working. So I work those bits in the overlap. So, yeah, a few more motifs and then the border and I've got that two-stitch border to to bring around. So, the main problem I have is I lose myself in doing all the motifs and I've got that horrible two-stitch border left to do at the end. So, I'm going to try and make myself work it as I'm working the other bits and pieces. So, that's it for now. Um, I'm currently working on the stitch in time, so... Um, so I'll be back with another update for that. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Hello, it's uh, Monday, 1st of June. And I'm just popping in with um, the finish off my update. So this is Needles Dance that I started. It's my morning stitch now. Uh, the, the linen is it's a 32 count. I think it was blue moon linen. It's 32 count. Um, so I'm stitching with two strands to really make the colour show up on it. It's actually darker than it's showing in my screen that I can see. But it's really pretty. Um, let's see. I can grab the... There we go. That's what it will look like. Um, so you can see on the bleeding heart lines I've done the top of the flower. What I was planning to do was work my way, go up and then come back down. Leave all the fun motifs to last. But any more bits and such. Um, so it was uh, from Nashville Market 2019 and it's a collaborative design between Summer House Stitchworks, Ink Circles and Hands On Designs. So that's that piece. And also, stitching time that I've been working on. Now, what I was doing was I was working down four, well, at least four, four blocks um, to, to work my way across. I'm just going to stitch the shelves. But I was getting on with that, put a couple more books in, getting another book, and <laughs> then... At the top, you've got like the the top of the shelf, and so down here you've got another shelf divider. And the colours of these very rarely dip into the the vignettes below. Sometimes they're in there, like the flowers, uh, the lantern. So so what I decided was, and this is about ten ten rows. So I started just following along those ten rows, and this is at page one. I think it's about. I think it's the fourth column. I don't think I've got much further to do to get get to the very start of page one. And see, got some parked threads. But what I've been doing, this is sort of like this, so this colour was the most dominant in most of these blocks. So what I did was I kind of stitched the other colours and not sticking to 10 by 10 but I'd follow them out probably to a point where I had to jump several stitches, several blank squares to put the other stitch in. And that's the point where I've got no gridding on this. That's the 
the point where you start feeling a bit nervous about the placement of your thread of your of your stitches. So instead of completing the stitches, I parked them and then filled in with the dominant colour. And I've been working across like that, and I got quite a lot done yesterday. So I think yesterday I did that lantern. So that yesterday afternoon is quite a lot. So once I get back to this in at the end of June, I'm going to get to the very start of page one, and then I'll just work across. I'll see how many rows I come down. And I think what I'll do is because these pages are totally finished, and there's four pages this side, and three and a partial this side. So I think I'll do all the pages on this side, working my preferred way of left to right. It just feels much more comfortable for me to stitch that way. So get to that point, but I'm going to work across all of those four pages and bring them down all together. Whether I come across ten rows, at, well, do my usual, like, use up the thread, but only focus on getting the first ten, ten rows actually completed, or whether I do three rows, so it's like the four again. Who knows, I'll oh, see how I feel once I start stitching it. Page one I think has a lot of confetti in it, so I'll probably want to get across to to more of the book spines just to break that up a bit. So June. Still working from home. Um I think I mentioned earlier it looks like we're probably going to be working from home possibly until September. Which which is fine by me. Less travelling means more time for stitching. <laughs> um, so I will be working on Eternal Promise for two weeks. Get another two pages done on that, and then I'll be I'll be properly over the tipping point of that and starting to feel like I'm on the homeward stretch. So two weeks on that, then one week is uh, a little light reading, which is, I think I'm finishing off uh, one of the top pages, which is all like creams and stuff, and then I think I get onto, I think there's more dragon coming up, so that would be fun. And then another week on the stitching time. In the mornings I'll be working on Needles Dance hopefully have some progress to show you on that. Also getting on and getting another page finish on Death by Cross Stitch. And is that it? I might be working on a sampler as well. Doing some more Mary Clayton. So, packed month coming up. I hope everyone is as well. Getting plenty of time to find the right headspace to do some stitching. And I hope it's keeping you all calm and relaxed. So that's it for me now and I'll do more videos during June for the end of June. That's six months through. Where's the year going to already? So, see you later. Bye bye.